Alright, hi everybody, this is Shifer, and it's been a while since I last posted. Um, I kind of got out of the Pokemon cards for a while, um, just didn't like any of the new sets that were coming out. Um, but I really miss YouTube, so I've been looking for a way to get back into it. Um, that's why today we'll be jumping into a fire uh, Pokemon Fire Red Nuzlocke run. Um, I've been playing Pokemon for years, but this is my first time trying a Nuzlocke. I get really attached to my Pokemon even without the Nuzlocke rules, so it's really hard for me to want to uh, do a run where your Pokemon die. <laughs> um, but I, it's been a while since the last Pokemon game has come out. It's been, I don't think that doing just a regular Let's Play run would be very fun at this point. So, we are doing Nuzlocke. Uh, here are the rules that we're going to be following um, for this version. Um, the starter Pokemon will be determined by the last digit of my trainer ID. Um, I think it's 1 through 3 is Bulbasaur, 4 through 6 is Charmander, and 7 through 9 is Squirtle. Um, I'll be catching only the first Pokemon found in each area. Um, I will also be taking advantage of the dupe clause, however. If I find a Pokemon that I've already caught as my first Pokemon in an area, then I'm allowed to skip that one and go to the next one. Um, the part I've been dreading is any fainted Pokemon is considered dead and must be released. Um, I thought about just sticking them in the PC box, but I know if I know they're there, I will not... Um, follow that rule, I will pull them out and pretend that they never died. Um, so I will be releasing them. Uh, let's see, what's my name? Uh, let's, let's see, how about shy something? Uh, now I know shy fur it won't fit in this. There's two, not enough characters, but for the sake of this run, let's go with Shyla. All right, so your name is Shyla, yes. And this is my grandson. He's been rivals since you were both babies. What's his name now? Definitely Gary, the mother of and goat oak. Um. Let's see, um, if I have a blackout or a biteout, I can't remember which one it's called in this game, but either way, if all my Pokemon fate, it is a game over, the adventure will be over, and we will have to start over somewhere else with a different game or a different run. Um, I'm not going to be imposing any limits on uh, potion use or Pokemon center use. Uh, let's go to item storage, withdraw get our first potion here. Um, uh, however, um, I will be using, I might be using revives, and here's, here's the way I would use them if I do use them. I will not be buying any revives. Any revives I have will be gifted to me or found. Um, if I do have a Pokemon Faint and I have a revive on me, I can use the revive to bring back that Pokemon. Um, however, if I Pokemon Faints and I don't have a revive on me, it's gone. I'm not going to carry around a Pokemon's corpse for days and days looking for a revive just to bring it back. That's creepy. Um, and if I black out or, or white out, I can't remember, like I said, um, then it's a game over. Um, revives can't help you. Um, okay, so with all that said, uh, these rules will be down in the video description for future um, installments in this series, but we are just going to go ahead and get started with the game. And there's Professor Oak. Don't go in the grass. It's unsafe. Wild Pokemon live in tall grass. You need your own Pokemon for your protection. I know. Here, come with me. Here we go, he's gonna march us right over to his lab. Because every child deserves a Pokemon of their own. There 
are three Pokemon here. In the Pokeballs, of course. Uh, nobody cares about your childhood. Alright. And because you're his grandson, you can wait to pick second. Alright, let's see what my trainer ID number is. Ten's in seven, that means we're getting Squirtle. I have actually never done... Oh, that's Charmander. No. I've actually never done a run with Squirtle before. I usually pick either Bulbasaur as my favorite or Charizard is my second favorite. So here we go. We're going with Squirtle. Yes. Let's see, it's a male Squirtle. What are we going to call him? You know, to me, Squirtles are always kind of big, beefy bro types, so we're going to call him Chad. There we go, we've got Chad the Squirtle, and Gary's got the Bulbasaur, because of course he does. Alright. No, you can't start your life yet. I need to feel like I'm better than you, so let's fight first. So pushy as always. You've never had a Pokemon battle before, have you? <laughs> Been playing, doing this for 20 years, old man. Alright, so he's just gonna talk, and we're just gonna skip through as quick as we can. Alright. So while I was looking up rules for Nuzlocke's, um, a lot of people worry about, you know, what happens if my starter faints during the first rival battle. Um, a lot of people have a clause where if you faint during the rival battle, then, you know, that doesn't count towards the Nuzlocke run, just because there's literally nothing you can do to help that. Uh... Oh man, but that one was close. <laughs> Alright, first level. Smell you later. Okay, I think one of these guys will give you Pokeballs, or maybe that's a different game. Yes, we know you're his aid. Study Pokemon as an aid. What about you? Any secrets you want to share? Professor Oak may not look like much, but he's the authority on Pokemon. Many trainers hold him in high regard. Let's see. Research lab. And I think this is the guy we want to talk to. Technology is incredible. You can now store and recall items and Pokemon as data via the PC. Alright. Is this one my house? I don't even remember. Yeah. So we go in here to talk to mom. Can't remember if she gives us running shoes. I hope she gives us running shoes. It's so slow. Oh, no, she heals Squirtle, which is also very good. Yeah. Oh, that's not the right button. Okay, start. Okay. Let's see. Adamant nature. All 
right, let's go over and visit Daisy Oak here. Get the town map. Come on, man. Uh, that would be useful. Wonder if I get it after doing Professor Oak's errand. That must be it. So let's head out on Route 1. Now we don't have any Pokeballs yet. So any battles until then... Let's refocus. Any battles until we get Pokeballs do not count towards our first encounter number. Pitchy, we've got some more XP points. Hi, I work at the Pokemart. It's a part of a convenient chain selling all sorts of items. Please visit us in Viridian City. Here's a sample. Another potion. That's great. number two. All right, there's another level. Every level brings us closer and closer to safety. Oh, and bubble, nice. playing non-Nuzlocke. I have a tendency to underlevel my Pokemon, so I am really concerned about making sure that they are leveled enough to survive <laughs> this round, this time. Alright. And then we gotta head over to Pokemart here to advance the plot. Oh. Hey, you came from Palatown? You know Professor Oak, right? His order can came in. Can I get you to take it to him? Shayla, receive Professor Oak's parcel. Alright. So, back to Pallet Town we go. Gotta say, I'm really looking forward to those running shoes. Because this is just a snail's pace. Alright, and there's another Pidgey. Is there anything other than Pidgey on Route 1? I feel like there should be. Like Rattatas or something at least. That new bubble attack is really working out nicely for us. It's going much quicker now. Shayla, how is my old Pokemon? It seems to be growing more and more attached to you. You must be talented as a Pokemon trainer. What's that? You have something for me? Shayla delivered Oak's parcel. Ah, it's the custom Pokeball. I had it on order, thank you. 
Is this supposed to be the uh, GS ball from the anime, or is this the Master Ball? Gary, I almost forgot. What did you call me here for? Alright, I have a question for you two. On the desk here is my invention, the Pokédex. It automatically records data on Pokémon you've seen or caught. It's a high-tech encyclopedia. Shyla and Gary, take these with you. Shyla receives the Pokédex. You can't get detailed data on Pokémon by just seeing them. You must catch them to obtain complete data. Here are some tools for catching wild Pokémon. Alright, first five Pokéballs. So now we can start catching more members for our team. Just throw a Pokeball and catch it. This won't always work, however. A healthy Pokemon can escape. You have to be lucky. Make a complete guide. That was my dream, but I'm too old. I can't get the job done. So I want you two to fulfill my dream for me. Get moving. This is a great undertaking in Pokemon history. All right, Gramps, leave it all to me. I hate to say it, but you won't be necessary for this, which I'm really glad for if I'm only catching the first Pokemon in every area. Um, I'll borrow a town map from my sis. I'll tell her not to lend you one, Shyla. Ha ha ha. Don't bother coming around after this. Huh. Oh, watch this. I'm gonna walk right into your house. Look at that. It's almost like you don't have any locks on your door. Grandpa asked you to run an errand? Gee, that's lazy of him. Here, this will help you. And Daisy gave you the town map. Great. Great, great. Alright, and let's go talk to Mom. Hopefully she'll give us some shoes. And she'll at least heal us. Alright, looks like she's just gonna heal us. Am I crazy? Are there not running shoes in this game? Am I gonna have to hoof it until I get a bike? I think I am. I don't think the running shoes got introduced until Ruby. This is gonna be a long game. And here's our first team member. It's a Rattata. Man, I would have preferred Pidgey. <laughs> Even when I play this game non-Nuzlocke, I usually have a Pidgey on my team, evolve it all the way to Pidgeot and take it to the league. But I am a creature of habit. Alright. No. No. There's the balls. Alright. Ratata was caught. These things are long and very sharp. Must not uh, keep them down. Yes, we're gonna give him an oh her a nickname. Ah, uh, let's name her Rowena. Rowena Ratata. Okay, there we are, good to go. Ah, keep hitting select instead of start. Alright, so Rowena's level 3, but she's looking pretty low. We're just going to keep her down there until we get to the Pokemon Center to heal her. There's that Pidgey. That's too bad. <laughs> Pidgey's all the way up, and then the one Rattata is the one we get for our team. Haha, <laughs> you missed. Okay, Bubble. Dun, dun, dun. 
Well, the good thing about all these battles is that we're just getting safer and safer. battle as you leave. Always gotta get ya. Oh, he's actually looking kinda low. This battle should be fine, though. physical stat than a special stat. Alright, Chad's now level 8. Alright, this is going really well. I tried to do a Nuzlocke one other time before, and I actually lost by that point. Because <laughs> I'm so bad at this. Alright. Yes, heal me. See what this guy has to say. Please feel free to use the PC. Pokemon Center in every town ahead. They charge no money, so don't be shy about healing Pokemon. I definitely will not be. Uh, heal your tired heart if you take Pokemon. Make your Pokemon healthy. Yes, I know. Okay, so no gifts. Talk to this guy. Okay, if he has no poison, Bleal does. Make sure you're not poisoned. Okay. Am I in Viridian? I think I am. Eternally Green Paradise. Go shopping in Pewter City. I take to go through White Green Forest. Okay. Alright, can I get past this guy? Oh no. Well, he's gonna teach me how to catch Pokemon. Here we go. Yeah, you know, just because I have to sit through this doesn't mean you guys do, so I'm probably gonna skip this. There we go, and through the magic of television, we're all done with the lecture. Oh, the Teachy TV! Oh, I forgot about that in this game. We're definitely not going to use that, though. Let's see, Spiro. Small child, daddy loves Pokemon. Alright. Is that a foreshadowing? How are my Pokemon looking? If they look okay, I'm gonna go west here. Yeah, they look okay. And see if I can catch a Nidoran or a Primeape or something. Oh, is there a rival battle over here? Uh, well, let's level up Rowena first, then we'll head over there. Yeah, that sounds like the smart thing to do.
All right, well, this seems like a good place to end the first episode. So I'm going to level up Rowena a little bit, and we'll be back again next week. And we'll go from there. Thanks so much for watching.